Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to make beautiful two-color charcoal and ivory soap. This soap is all natural using no artificial color. It is created using two different recipes that can be completed separately if you choose, or made simultaneously and combined into one as I have done here. The charcoal soap recipe is slightly different than the ivory, so pay attention to the slight differences. As always, before we get started, please consider subscribing to help me grow my channel. Now that that's out of the way, here is the recipes for you to copy down. The recipe and list of equipment used can also be found in the video description. Without further ado, let's get started. Start by separating the distilled water into two non-reactive heat-resistant containers. After that, put on some safety gloves and safety goggles and carefully measure out into two additional separate containers the sodium hydroxide for the charcoal soap and the sodium hydroxide for the ivory soap. I use party cups for this. Pay attention that the charcoal recipe uses slightly more sodium hydroxide than the ivory recipe, so remember which one is for which. Once you have the sodium hydroxide and water measured and separated, take it outside and mix them together. For safety, I always add the sodium hydroxide to the water, not the other way around. Give them a quick stir and leave them outside to cool off. While the sodium hydroxide water cools, head back inside, get two bowls ready, and start measuring out the oils. We will start with the ivory recipe. Combine castor oil, coconut oil, lard, and rice bran oil into your mixing bowl. Once done, heat the oils to melt the lard and the coconut oil. The temperature will be around 120 degrees. Now do the same for the charcoal. Combine coconut oil, castor oil, lard, and olive oil. I used rice bran oil in the ivory soap because olive oil will turn the soap yellow. Rice bran oil is more expensive though, so I didn't want to waste it on the charcoal soap where color makes no difference. Again, heat until the oils are melted around 120 degrees. When that's done, bring the sodium hydroxide water inside. Don't forget to remember which one is for which recipe. We're going to start with the charcoal soap. Combine sodium hydroxide water with the oils and blend in an immersion blender for about 3 minutes. Then add 2 big tablespoons of charcoal. Continue blending until you start to see the mixture thicken slightly. For me this happened after another 3 minutes. At that point, add your 2 ounces of fragrance oils. I chose Rose Quartz by Ramelberry.com, but you can choose any essential oil or fragrance oil that you like. Then continue to mix for approximately another 2 minutes. Once done, pour the mixture into two molds and fill to about halfway, then set them aside. Now repeat the process with the ivory soap. Clean off your immersion blender, then combine the remaining sodium hydroxide and water mixture with the ivory oils. Mix until the mixture starts to thicken, then add two ounces of fragrance oils. Now fill the molds with the ivory mixture until they're filled all the way to the top. Cover the molds with plastic wrap and a towel and leave them to cure for 24 hours. The next day, remove the soap from the molds and cut them into 1 inch pieces using a knife or a piece of wire. I made a cutter out of guitar strings that can cut an entire mold at once. After the soap is cut, put the pieces in a closet to cure for 4 weeks. After 4 weeks, the soap is ready to use and enjoy. I use the soap as body wash in the shower, but it can also work as hand soap. Homemade soap makes a great gift idea as well. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.